Well, welcome back to the next uh, video in this series. We're now going to take the brass that we reshaped and deprimed in the first video. We're now going to take it through the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal case prep center here. And we're going to take that and then cut it down to the right size. We're going to take the chamfer and deburring tool here and knock off the edges and the burrs off the neck. We're going to flip that case around and then we're going to take and, and uh, use this tool to then take the crud out of the primer pocket, remove the military crimp, and then do a what's called a use a uniformer or primer pocket uniformer to get the primer pocket just the right size to receive that new primer. So stick around. Let's do a timer on it and see how long it takes. Well, welcome back. Uh, this is Jerry with Sensible Survival Solution. We're going to take down the next video in the step of building 5.56 cartridges. In the prior video, you saw me uh, reshape the brass and remove the spent primer. In this video, we're going to do two steps all together. In the 308 build, I did these two steps separately. That is, I cut the case to the right length, chamfer and deburr the neck, and then in the separate video, I then uh, cleaned the primer pocket, removed the military crimp, and uh, shaped the primer pocket for the new primer. We're going to do all those together in one, one video this time. So you're going to see me, uh, first off, cut the case to the right length, take the neck, and then chamfer and deburr it. Then I'm going to use this tool on this end to remove and clean the pocket. This tool then removes the military crimp and then this final tool here will reshape the primer pocket. I'm going to use my Lee chamfer and deburring tool here to then remove the uh, shavings from around the neck, get it nice and ready to go. So let's do one here before we do the timer. So here we go. In this case, I'm going to take the case and trim it down to 1.75 inches. I already got my Frankfurt Arsenal, Arsenal Tool already set up for that so now this is now shaved it down to the right length this tool then removes the chamfer and chamfers and deburs the, uh, the neck so now this will now accept the new cartridge this is now 1.75 inches I then put it on the tool to knock some of the spent primer dust out this removes the military crimp from around the neck and this final piece will actually clean and uh, uniform the pocket so that it is ready for the next primer. These, uh, this last step is not something that everybody does. It's something that I've learned that I like to do to make sure that that pocket is ready to receive the new primer. Alright, so now that one's done. It goes into my little case holder. Then we'll, we'll do the next 20 and time that to see how fast we go. So here we go. Well, so I, I thought I'd do a little something different here instead of just fast forwarding through to the next stage. Show you a close up of that Frankfurt Arsenal prep center. You see me now trying to do this from behind the camera, so I'm a little, it looks like I'm drunk, but I'm not. I'm going to now deburr the outside and the inside and put a little chamfer, a little angle on that inside of that neck to make that, make that bullet go into the case much easier. This tool here knocks off some of the crud from the uh, primer the spent primer. This removes the military crimp and this actually uniforms the pocket. It means it puts it right into uh, the right angles, the right angle on the inside of the primer pocket to receive that new primer. 
You can see also it makes it kind of clean on the inside. I do look at those uh, pretty carefully to make sure I've got the crud out and that it, it, the angle is the right size. That one looks good. All right, on to the next. You also see me wearing those uh, yellow gloves I got from uh, Harbor Freight. They're rubber tips, the rubber palms on them. Makes it easier to hold on to the case that while it's being worked on. I don't have to grip it as so hard. Uh, there's no depth grip needed. So I let the gloves do the most of the work. Now you can see that's kind of dirty inside. Let's go through the steps here and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. That military crimp doesn't take much. You'll feel it and when they're when you put in the case into that tool, it'll grip a little bit, shave a little bit off of it, but it does make it easy to put that next primer in. Now look at the big difference. Big difference in that, that, that primer pocket. One more to go here, so you'll see the, the actual steps here. So step one is to shave it down to 1.75 inches. Sometimes those cases don't need a lot. Others need more than others. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm feeling for uh, the, the bit to see if that bit is, is catching on that case. If it is, I just leave it in there for a little longer. So now I've done three steps. Number four is to get that crud out of the primer pocket, remove the military crimp, and finally do the uniform. This really saves me a lot of wrist action, this uh, Frankfurt Arsenal tool. I know I sound like a commercial, but dead gum, that thing was a, is a good tool to have. Before I was getting carpal tunnel, <laughs> I was doing so many cases by hand and twisting them by hand. So there you go, that pocket is ready to go. Now on to the next stage. Okay, here we go, last one. This tool really does make it easy. I really love this thing. It saves my arms and wrist. You will notice that sometimes I do look down into the case. I want to make sure that there's not any shavings down inside. I do get those occasionally, especially on the, on the larger cases. Some of the shavings from this will go down inside the, the shell casing, and I have to get it out. So I'll look through the, uh, the primer hole to make sure there's nothing in there. There we go. Just over 14 minutes to do 20 cases. I do think that is faster than what we did on the 308s. So that, doing the two steps together may have actually shaved a minute or two off of the times. I'll notate here in the end what the differences were between 20 cases of 308, doing it in two separate steps, and doing it with the 556 in one step. But you're going to see now 14 minutes to do 20 cases. To do several different things. Remember, remember now, we did we trimmed the case to length, we took the burrs off the inside and outside, then we took this tool to knock out some of the, the crud inside the pocket, this removed the military crimp from this uh, military brass, and then this tool actually formed the, and uniformed the pocket to make it ready for the receiving of the primer. Which next video, we're going to set up the turret press here and go ahead and, and complete the steps which will be insert the pocket or insert the primer into the pocket charge the case with powder and then seat the bullet and then crimp the bullet then we'll have a completed 20 and then we'll show the times for the completion of all the steps and then we'll calculate how much time it would take you to build 20, 100, 500, and 1000 cases hope you're enjoying this because I've enjoyed doing it for you thanks a lot well, we did a lot in that video. We did a lot on that case. There are like six different things we did on the, in this video. You saw how long it took? Not that long to do all that, all those different steps. Now, the next phase of this, we're going to take the uh, cases and run them through my turret press so that we can then see how long that final stage takes. Stick around. I think you'll enjoy this. Well, the times are in. 14 minutes to do those six steps on those 20 cases. Well, now that gives us now we're 23 minutes into this build for these 20 cases. 
Now, by comparison to the 308, we took 17 minutes and 30 seconds to do the six, same six steps. So we're three minutes and 30 seconds ahead on this phase. You, then you add in 30 seconds we saved on the D prime and resize, and now we're four minutes faster on these 20 cases. We have one video left and one set of steps left. We're going to now take those same 20 cases and run them through my turret press to see how long it takes to actually build those 20 cartridges. Then we'll have our total time in and we'll also show you the total cost to build these cases. Stick around. One more step to go. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Help us build our channel by subscribing to it. And remember to always be ready, be prepared, and be vigilant.